Hello and thanks for joining us. Six men have been jailed for a total of 80 years for sexually abusing two teenage girls in Rotherham. One became pregnant at the age of 12. The judge said the girls had suffered a terrible ordeal and had suffered severe psychological harm. We'll have reactions shortly, but first our correspondent John Cundy reports. Three brothers, Tayyab, Nassar and Basharat Dad, who raped the naive and vulnerable girls. Matloub Hussein, Mohammed Sadiq and Amjad Ali, also guilty of sex offences. The girls were attacked in a flat in Fitzwilliam Road in the Eastwood district of Rotherham. The victims were plied with alcohol and cannabis to intimidate them into performing sexual acts. On one occasion, one of the girls was locked alone in the flat for hours without food, water or electricity. It's the highest end of, of seriousness. It's incredibly uh, harrowing evidence that we've listened to through court. The victims were in court and it was devastating to watch them. So bittersweet really to have to listen to that. Really, really very traumatic evidence. The 12 year old became pregnant. Trial judge Sarah Wright said the girl's childhood and adolescence were taken from her. Hers, she said, was a tale of astonishing dedication and bravery, putting her child first. Prosecutors say the two girls were subjected to appalling abuse and had shown extraordinary courage in coming forward. Their attackers were convicted on 23 of the 25 charges against them, ranging from rape and indecent assault to false imprisonment. Rodman Council say their work with police to fight child sex exploitation is now gathering pace. We're very clear. We're sending out a clear message. You know, this will not be tolerated in our town. And if you are um, currently being abused or exploited, step forward, talk to the police. Over a period of three trials, this investigation has been running since 2013. And um, we've now got nearly 300 years custodial sentences for 18 very, very dangerous offenders. As investigations widen in Rotherham, the National Crime Agency says it's still looking for hundreds more potential child sex abusers in the town. John Cundy, BBC Look North. David Greenwood is representing the two teenage girls in the civil court and he gave me his reaction to today's events. Well, it's very pleasing that the police have been able to piece the evidence together and bring these offenders to justice. I'm sure the girls who have been involved in this uh, feel satisfied that justice has been done. So, yes, it's very good news. You mentioned the girls there. How much of an ordeal has it been sitting through this? Uh, yeah, it's, it is difficult to, to hear this evidence um, and to think that you know, the person that we're helping has been through all these years of, of agony uh, and the abuse itself. It, it's, it's very traumatic, obviously, for them. Uh, the police officers involved have uh, nursed these girls through the whole thing. Um, they need to be commended for having looked at this evidence seriously and, and prosecuted these offenders. And the girls themselves, what's the reaction to the news today? Yeah, they've been pleased that justice has been done. Uh, they've been pleased that they've got recognition and that, that they've been believed. Uh, so, yeah, it, it is um, bittersweet. It's good news for them, but... Um, to have to go through all this and have so many years of their lives wasted out of education, out of uh, productive work uh, has been a real shame, but hopefully we can help them get back on track. And what's the next stage in this process? Well, I'm involved in um, the IPCC um, uh, investigation. I'm involved in getting these girls compensation also. Um, and we're also involved with helping the National Crime Agency to prosecute more offenders as well. So uh, there's a lot more work to be done. David Greenwood, thank you very much. Joining me now from our Sheffield studio is the MP for Rotherham, Sarah Champion. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Now, the Jay report said that there were 1,400 victims. 18 criminals have so far been put behind bars, so there's still a long way to go, isn't there, Sarah? There's an awful long way to go, but I've always believed that there's going to be more than 1,400 victims. Um, I, I think it's going to be considerably more than that. The um, National Crime Agency are saying they are now considering there's going to be hundreds of perpetrators. Um, to be quite honest, until we get all of those people arrested behind bars and out of harm's way, uh, I'm not going to rest at all 
also what I need people to understand is if this isn't just Rotherham, this is going on across the country. Uh, I have victims and survivors contacting me from all over the country and this is something that we really need to understand is a national scandal that's going on and we've got to get more resources for the police but also particularly for the victims and survivors. There is not enough support out there for them to rebuild their lives. Sarah, how likely is it though that these perpetrators actually will be brought to justice, especially in Rotherham? Well, I mean, this is the problem because some of these uh, crimes happened a decade or decades ago. I know it's incredibly resource heavy for the police to go through all of that evidence. But um, unfortunately, I know it's going to be hard. I know it's going to be difficult, but we, we can't stop. We have to get all of these people behind bars. To be quite honest with you, I don't know that these people aren't continuing to offend. And, and that's an, uh, an entirely possible situation. So we've got to do all that we can to stop them. Sarah, thank you very much.